Hello doctors and aspiring doctors. Oof, finally, it's been done. Two years of hardcore preparation, waking up early in the morning, asking for a tea early in the morning, keeping an alarm clock, going for classes, writing tests, giving grant tests, improving your scores. And finally sat on the day of NEET UG exam, got an amazing rank, waited for counseling, filled up the choice in the counseling. Some of you must have been fortunate enough to get in the first attempt. And I'm sure the first day when you set your foot into the college and putting the stethoscope on, the white coat on, the feeling of doctor, the last two years of journey is really, really worth it, right? I still remember my first day of college, the excitement, the fear, the anxiety, meeting new people, meeting cadavers which is going to teach us, it's definitely worth the journey. And some of you who must have not got a good seat in the first round of counselling and some of you who must have said that I feel that I can upgrade in my second round. Some of you must not fill the choices in the first round. For them, there's neat UG second round of counselling which is going, the choice filling is going to start from 10th of August. And I, there are a few pointers which I want to talk about the second round of NEET UG counselling and that's the agenda of this today's video. If you're first time here, I'm Dr. Ranjit, your pathology teacher at PW Medit and if you're not subscribed to PW Medit, do subscribe, hit the subscribe button and we'll learn more about medicine and let's enjoy the journey of MBBS together, right? Coming back to this video. So this is about entire thing what you re need regarding the second round of UG counselling. First of all, there's already a tentative list of seats available, will be there on the MCC website. There might be a few new colleges also would have been updated who got the letter of permission to uh, run their first year MBBS course. So entire thing will be available on the MCC website. First carefully go through it because that's where you're going to fill the choices, right? Second thing is who are all eligible? So if you have not filled the in the first round any choices, you are still eligible for the second round. If you filled in a choice, you got allotted to a choice, you have joined the medical college, still you are eligible for second round. If you want to upgrade, the first thing what you have to do is you have to notify your college authorities, okay, I am going to participate in the second round. The college authorities will give a NOC, a document and the college authorities will intimate the MCC that, okay, this student is wanting to fill the second round of counseling, right? You should pay the college the complete fee and then you will be eligible for the second round of counseling. Get all the required documents because without documents, joining after the second round of allotment is going to be very very difficult right that's the first thing to do if you are looking for an upgradation please inform the college authorities if you are completely new like you didn't even register for the first round of counseling you have to please register it for a student who is already registered you need not register again right so if you are completely a new student the registration will start from august 9th so please register it pay the fee whatever is appropriated by the mcc and register newly if it's new any student who has already taken a college, who has already filled a seat, need not register it again. With the old registration itself, that do, does good for the second and the straight rounds of counselling as well, right? Next, choice filling. The most important thing which you want to remember regarding choice filling is, the first round, whatever your fill choices, all of them are now waste. You have to fill new choices. Even if you're opting for upgradation, you have to fill new choices. So I'm sure you must have had lists of things, colleges in your mind, Accordingly, very carefully fill the choices. Choice filling starts from August 10th and will run till August 15th, right? So it's going to be till August 10th till August 15th and all the choices should be appropriate. And I'm again repeating, every student, whether you have filled the choices before or not, has to fill the choices again. Please don't do the mistake of not filling the choices, thinking that my old choices will be taken, right? It's going to be new choice filling. It's from 10th of August till 15th. Please do not wait for the last moment. At least for this time, once we will not procrastinate and we'll fill the choices by the 10th of August itself, right? So once you have filled the choices, the same way the allotment goes and your results will be out around August 18th. You should have all the necessary documents to go and join your new college. Please, I hope everything is set accordingly, especially if you're going to upgrade. Get your new documents. Without the original documents of yours, you cannot enter the medical college after the result allotment is out, right? In a, within a couple of days, you have to go to the new college of allotment and get registered in the new college, right? So I hope most of the students who have not got the seat of their choice or is looking for upgradation will do very well in the second counseling. And I hope in the third and uh, the stay round of counseling, some of them can also add on to it, right? So this is all the information is required for the second round of NEET UG counseling. Join MBBS and let's learn MBBS and medicine in the best way possible, right? Uh, the entire team, PW Medit, is going to welcome you with open arms and we are going to make you better doctors 
from the journey of student to doctors we'll take care of it right see you soon in the next video and all the very best of for all budding doctors aspiring doctors till then bye bye from dr anjit bye bye